and welcome to 3 out of 10, Season 2, Episode 5, Part 2. I'm Beth from Two Nerds on a Couch. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Previously on 3 out of 10. Taking breaks leads to productivity boosts afterwards. A little time away from the desk would pay dividends. Yeah, dividends. That's a money word. You like money, right? I do like money. Yeah, you can't be a good game developer if you can't remember how to have fun, right? A good bit of fun will galvanize us into turbo mode. Galvanize? Is that a money word too? Sure. Hmm. Galvanize into turbo mode. Hmm. G galvanize. Perhaps you're onto something, Joan. Let's go, everyone! Company meeting time in the parking lot! Ben, we need to talk. What's on your mind, Joan? You're the only one I can trust. You remember Bruce, the boss of that other game studio? So I gave him Jeb's message and showed him the bug transmitter we found, but the conversation didn't end there. Okay. He said their studio didn't plant the bug, but he also knew who made it. Whoever was listening, they were close. So, let's tell the others. Ben? Anyone could be compromised. Anyone. Okay, okay. Let's just tell Jeb then, right after this company meeting. Let's go, dweebs! Okay, Viper, we've been waiting for ten minutes now. Yeah, where is Jeb? Can we go? I was kinda in the middle of something. Hold up, everyone! Welcome to Fun O'Clock! Now, I know we've been <laughs> pulling long hours, and I can see you all need a recharge. So, it's time for some team building! Uh, what? Now, now, it's just an hour or two. And you have to stay late to make up the time, but you all deserve it. <laughs> really, Jeb? Absolutely, Francine. I believe in you. Here are the rules. I've got an undisclosed number of tickets to go see the Racer Chase movie premiere on opening night. Deluxe seating. We've got a lineup of contests, games, Tests of endurance. It's gonna take all the fun you can muster to win the day. But first, let's start with a little decompression. You decompress so you can compress in more fun. Right. So grab a mat, everyone. It's yoga time. Wait, what? Oh, I love yoga. Oh, me too. Move it, folks. Caress your inner hummingbird of calmness. Hummingbirds aren't calm. Their hearts beat 1,200 times a minute. Yeah, I'm not doing yoga. I quit the fun squad. All right, everyone. Downward your dog. And hold. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. No, 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 no. No movie ticket is worth this. You know, I could have been a musician. I had a scholarship offer. I could be in a band right now. And I could have a real job at a real office. And Cobra Pose. Be the Cobra you want to see in the world. I am the Cobra. Hey, you three. What's wrong with you all? Yoga helps you sleep at night. Yeah, my eyes are burning from watching this. There's no way I'm sleeping tonight. Spread Eagle Pose, everyone. <laughs> okay. That is not a yoga pose. If you think this is fun, you won't believe what's next. Parking lot soccer? That's Woo. right. Parking lot soccer. Football to our European friends. Get the balls to the touchdown area to earn points. That's how soccer works, right? First down, people. <laughs> no, dude, that's how football works. <laughs> well, look who's so ooh la la European. Everyone ready? Chasing balls doesn't sound like fun. I, 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 the fun squad is on tackle duty. Oh, hot damn, I unquit the fun squad. No, no tackling. What problem do you have with fun, woman? <laughs> uh, are there teams? Yes, teams of one. You're on your own team. Viper, you're the ref too. I'll be setting up the next event. I got this. <laughs> so, just get the balls to the cones over there. That, that's it? Yep, except the balls are wired to explode. Good luck! <laughs> Ooh, hey, Jeb, can Joan and I talk to you about something for a... Uh, dang it. And he's gone. All right, let's have some fun, you miserable sacks of joy. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, they explode. Awesome. 
<laughs> oh. All right, let's tr let's try this. <laughs> let's I gotta play hit some the ball some ball. The end <laughs> Other way, pylon. Other way. Does that count? Oh no, Viper's coming! Oh, that crashed the end zone, but yeah. Gotta get it in the goal! Keep running, fool! Ah. I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Oh, nice try, Midge! I don't know how to score. I'm doing great! <laughs> oh, okay. One? I guess. Oh no, Viper's coming! Nearly there, nearly there! Oh, hey, I got one! Woo. Oh, come on! That didn't count! Oh, damn it! Hey, hey, I got Woo. one! Ha <laughs> ha! Doing great. Yeah. This is so hard. <laughs> Midge is on my team. Joan and Ben are on the other team. You'll never get that ball into the goal. No, nope, apparently not. <laughs> All right, a point. Ha <laughs> ha! Ow! Oh, all right. That was a little far off the mark. Joan! Ouch! <laughs> Dang it! Let's get in there! Oh. You'll never get that ball into the goal. Getcha. Come on, I'm my team made it in. <laughs> Ouch! Whoops! Ouch! <laughs> Whoa! I could do that all day. That was fun. Nice work, everyone. Doesn't it just make you itch to get back to work? You all get three points each for participation, except for Francine. Francine. You can't win the game if you don't play. Yup, got it. Thanks for the memo. Come on, Francine. This is the new Racer Chase movie. I heard he has a tank in this one. Really? That changes everything. <laughs> yeah? No. Well, don't worry. There's a lot of ways to win points still. We got dance-offs, musical chairs, trivia, hatchet throwing. And no one has said the word of the day yet. The what? It's a confetti-loaded word of the day. And it's worth... I... Uh, Six points! Jeb, where did all this junk come from? Exactly how many balls did you rent? 98,998. What? Time for swimming team! Back into the office! I think we'll have to wait until all this is over before we talk to Jeb. Yeah, or take things into our own hands. That was something Bruce told me. The organization that made that bug, they leave that umbrella logo everywhere they go. What do you mean? My guess is that whoever is listening in on us took over one of the neighboring office suites. We should search the lobby for clues. What, you think they're just gonna slap that umbrella logo on a door, literally? Well, you never know. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing yep. I've ever heard. But if you wanna go look around, be my guest. Hey, fun o'clock waits for no one, okay? Actually, you know what? Let me go look around. I've had enough fun for one day. Roger that. I'll cover for you. Uh, right. Okay. Jeb. Whoa. Seriously? <laughs> A ball pit, Jeb? I promise you all, it's clean. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. I got them from a place that rents them out for kids' birthdays. These are kids' birthday balls? Ugh, I thought you said these were clean. Well... I didn't steal them. Ball pits are the definition of fun. <laughs> Does anyone else's legs feel greasy? Uh, they come that way. Grease for swimming. Now, group up. I want a photo. Ah, 
Come on in, everyone. The ball pit's great. Three points for participation, Pylon. And keep it up, you beautiful people. Jeb, you're going to give us all Listeria. Then it will be the most fun Listeria you've ever had. <laughs> Three points for Viper for Listeria. Hey, why does he get points for that? Is it because he's on the fun squad? I didn't choose the fun squad life. It chose me. Fun squad, can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? Is that a fun idea? Yeah. And... Done. What? Oh. <laughs> Relax, everyone. I'm just joking. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> Photo op is over. That's going out in our recruitment packages. Next event, the 50-meter backstroke. The office is only 40 meters wide. And you can't backstroke in a ball pit. Fine. 40-meter doggy paddle, then. As the company HR representative and the administrator of our health care plan, I veto ball pit swimming. Stop vetoing fun, Francine! Viper, it's okay. There's no shortage of events. Uh, Francine, you're out of the ticket running. Let's keep up the thrills with our next event. To the kitchen! Man, what the hell has gotten into this guy? I don't know, but I don't like it. It's time for the hot dog eating contest, everyone! Ooh, my hour has come! I love hot dogs! I want a clean contest, everyone. No buns, no condiments, no cooking, just hot dog all the way. Well, that's not as fun. Fun is what you make of it, Pylon! Hey, guys. I mean, I'll still do it, and I'll win, too. I want that movie ticket. <laughs> that's the spirit! Guys, where'd the fridge go? Huh, that's weird. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. Sally's always hopping around here somewhere. You know her. She normally waits till after the workday, though. You mean that monster roams the office freely at night? She didn't seem to be feeling too good today. Maybe she hates the smell of hot dogs? All I smell is... coconut? That's me! Coconut sunscreen. Your noses deserve to have a good time, too. And now it's time for the hot dogs! I'm gonna go figure out what's up with this missing fridge. Then you can kiss those movie tickets goodbye. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Find missing fridge. That fridge should be around here somewhere. Whoa! Wait, what was that thing? It popped up for a second. Oh, something just touched my foot. Is something in here with me? Yes. Yes, something is. Creepy! Whee! I think I'm in the deep end over here? With the office in such a state, a map is always appreciated. <laughs> you know, I never take any time to play this little thing. Let's see what's on it today. again. How good can I do this time? Can I get to a star? Well, if it keeps giving me bits like that, oh, then, you know, of course I messed it up. Dang it, I get that close again. <laughs> Try again. Nearly there. Maybe not, I don't know. Ha! Oh well. Here, fridgy, 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 fridgy. Oh boy. It's way down here though. The shark game is kind of buried, but I could try playing it anyway. Okay, jeez. Let's do this. Uh. I can't see anything. That's okay. I have a rocket launcher. I'll just blow everything up. Oh, okay. Here's the octopus squid thing. One yet. <laughs> Infinite 
rockets! And the wall! Woohoo! Definitely, uh, makes it more interesting. You know, the next dash con should take notes on this ball pit. out of ten for a little while. That was a nice feeling. Heaven help us, what's Kevin cooking up next on here? <laughs> oh, you really can't go in there, huh? Jeb's office! Mm. <laughs> There's a couple of balls on the well, computer. no Sally here. Where the heck is she hiding? Yeah, where the heck are you? Uh... Well, nothing in here. <laughs> oh, that's slightly open. It's a radio in the same spot. Find any other hidden items? I think I think I hear Timothy. There you are. Timothy, can you tell me where the fridge went to? I'm sorry, I can't do that. <laughs> this is Distempered Dave, one of the Wolverine sidekicks from Sweaty Blood Six. Bloody Chuck raised him and his twin brother when their mother got mutated by toxic cell phone tower signals. Sweet. Oh, I see something over there. Is that thing gonna come back? A star duck. Those are special. Rubber ducky, you're the one. We keep the company foam dark gun arsenal in here. It's cute, but not like the real thing. Where'd that thing go? I saw it for a second. I guess not. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Mentor. Did you know a lot of people seem to come through here at night? Uh, never on the same day, though. It's kind of remarkable how much they keep missing each other. Huh. Interesting. Good information there, intern. That's right, you found your way back to the dice bag. We're serving you the latest news in film, games, and culture. What you contribute to the situation isn't quite clear. Today, we're talking toys. Here, they're making a new line of Blubber Knight toys. <sighs> Give me a break. Come on, Jay. Blubber Knight is awesome. Uh, Blubber Knight is a whale in a knight costume. He's had a half a century of bad movies, comics, sing-along albums, lunchboxes. Uh, he's had his day. You probably didn't see the awful cartoon that started all of this, so you still have your innocence, Breeze. I envy you. I did see it, and I loved it. Seriously, it was one big ad from the whaling companies. It was just an excuse to sell people blubber in the 60s. Okay, sure, Blubber Knight has had some rough times, but you can't not love the character. I'll say it. I'll go there. I do not love Blubber Knight. Or Blubber. You take that back, Jade. Uh, everyone, Breeze's eyebrows are doing a thing I haven't seen them do before. <laughs> we'll be back after these messages. Oh, something just grazed my leg. 
Joan, run! Catch up with it! Hmm. Hmm. Ah, gotcha. Is that Sally wandering around? <laughs> oh, it's moving even faster! Get back here! Sally is here, but still no fridge. Just one more time. Okay. Pretty sure it's like right here. Because why wouldn't it be? Oh boy. Holy cow. Okay. Huh. The door to the dumbwaiter room is open. That's strange. Should I go in? Thank you so much for watching. I'm Beth from Two Nerds on a Couch, and we'll see you next time. Bye!